Sino akong mic? Ah, akong camera. Ako ro intro. Floor director, please. Okay, mayat ayat nga agahon banwa, mayat ayat nga agahon akan, ag welcome kamu sa atong programang kapian sa aklan. Makaroon ay Agusto 31, katapusan nga adlaw sa bulan itag-create, itag-proot, <laughs> nga ni haya atong panamion ra, pinaagi sa atong nga pagkangay sa mga beauties nga ra makaroon nga hindi na ay ipakilala namang kinyo. Siyempre, thank you very much sa Aklan Cable TV Manager Angelito Kimpo and the Garcia family for always being there for us sa Kapihan sa Aklan. Salamat nga po. And raton nga mga kaibahan sa media nga hindi na ipakilagaman. Ag makaroon ako nga ipakilagaman kinyo ra ako nga partner SPJ Tihada. Yes, thank you. Good morning, partner. Good morning. Tama ka sa mga bagay na we have to end uh, the month of August with a bang. Yes. Dahil naiibang uh, oh, mga kagandahan ay. ng ating makikita ngayon. Okay, so ibang-iba. No? Uh, naiiba sila yes. uh, sa ating society today. And uh, we're very happy na uh, despite of their very busy schedules, eh, natawan kita ay kahiguyunan na maka one-on-one -on -one sa namakaroon sa andang importanteng mga advokasiya at importanteng event na matabuya sa aklan. Yes. Oo, sa pag-abuton nga bugan it Nobyembre. May detali karon kita yung na. Oh. And this is your partner, board member JT Hada, sa another edition ito atong kapihan sa aklan. Makaroon nga Agosto 31. Ag magaililiba kita, inaang kamo sa inyong mga TV. Ag kabay pa nga ibahan ninyo kami sa aton nga dayawang oras nga talakayan. Ano nga ba ang ating uh, pag-uusapan? Oh. Uh, Aghamat mga kagwapahon, ro, atong kaibahan hmm. makaroon sa imong kilid, ag sa akong kilid, uh, partner Edwin. Kaya nga, medyo pagpasok ko pa lang kanina, pagsuhod pa rin ako na, hu! Oo. Oh. Hey, what's up? Parang, Inaano, kagagi nga. Oo, oh, naibaro alright atong studio. Oo, oh, at saka, kung nabi, partner Jay, no? Daya nga rin nga, atong mga igmanghod nga rin, hay sambilog rin sa mga magapit sa akong tagipusoon. Mm -hmm. Especially, nga uh, ro organizer, Hay anak-anakan ko. Yes. Ang kaibahan natin sa advokasya sa Red Cross. Oo, oh, so. Board of Director. <laughs> Malang, it Red Malang. Cross. Oh. Okay. A so, very inspiring the group ng Araro Sector na tungod ay sa logo po yan nanda, colorful na sila. Of no? course. Oh. Di ka na natin makita yung sector ng puro artihan. Mm -hmm. no? Nag-iinarte pero hindi mga maarte. Oo. Oh, no? oh. Di ba? <laughs> na, oh. Katoanay nga mga tiyempo, hay ginatawag na tabu sa sosyedad. Ah. Pero sa makaroon nga panyempo, people learn to accept them. Pati ro gobyerno nagaobrat layi para kanda. Mm -hmm. Ag kita mismo, kay bahang kita sa move, may aton man nga pagpalangga para sa anang adbukasiya. Yes, because these are persons, yeah. these are individual and these are humans yes. and it's a matter of human mm. right, to di ba? Abo akong istorya kara hindi na mm. nga mga jokes pero Joke tara nga matuod ha. Kabuo-buo pero wa tara nagalait sa aton mga igmanghod nga mga taga LGBTQ plus. Q May plus pa yan eh. R R S T U. Pag-usapan <laughs> <laughs> natin mamaya yan. O okay. sa mga uh, act, act, acronym na yan. Mm. So at this point uh, partner Edwin siguro uh, unahon natun ana it recognize ra aton nga mga na, na recognize mo na ba? Hindi pa. Oh, yung mga media? Mga, oh, ah, syempre, mga... hindi pending hindi. Unang-una, mga igmanghod, camera please. Ang ganda-ganda first from the United Kingdom. Oo. Oh, oh. Ma'am Chita Hit. Nakita ko ra ang post kat iti mo sa UK. Oh. Kay bahan man na ito mga LG uh, LG DQQ plus. LGBTQ plus oh. plus plus. <laughs> of course, uh, si Mami Chita man no nag-represent it. Sa bilog ang nag-represent sa mga media pag presentation, media presentation ko aton nga Queen of Aklan. Yes. So, Mami Chita hit, uh, she is now a freelancer. So, she can also write for the Philippine Information Agency, the Philippine News Agency, and the British Broadcasting Corporation. BBC. 
Of course, we also have here uh, the most handsome <laughs> the most handsome son of Banga Aklan, Rat Abitang Samora of Energy FM. <laughs> Nagahiyom-hiyom sa likod ng da si Manong Boy Tifora atong kay Bansa Aklan Press Club ag uh, partner siyempre nagahugat-hugat uh, pakita ito atong mga kaibahan sa Uh, media, at ayon nyo pagkalipati, Manong Edwin Ramos, Philippine Information Agency. Yes, and of course, gina pasigamatan kita ito duro, no, Roaton nga NBC uh, community, especially the President, no, uh, Sir Angelo Kimpo, and of course, the Dean, itaton nga AB uh, Communication, uh, the Dr. students, Dr. 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 Ambrosio, Butoy. and Ma'am Angel, and of course, Roaton nga magwapuhon, nagwapahon nga mga estudyante at uh, AB Communication. Agahon, yeah. pasandaya. Yeah, mga technical person na ito oh. makaroon. No? Ag mga sugugoon. No? Joke ah, lang. Ito mga kabulig <laughs> sa kape, kapihan oh. sa aklan. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you for always uh, being around. Okay. And uh, partner Edwin, uh, hindi ba dayon raton nga ng programa kung uwa raton nga ng mga dinapit nga bisita? Sanda raton star of the show yes. today. So gusto kong bato-batohon, Uh, itpagtawag, base yan sa ako nga listahan ro aton nga mga dinapit nga bisita para sa atong interaction. One of our guests is oo, sa pangalan pa lang, patok na patok na, Daniela Isabela Laurente Garcia. Tama ba? Si Kampi. Yan. Please, uh, camera please. Hamat nakaputi, kating dapat nakapuga ka, Daniela. <laughs> Saan ba ito yung maura nga kandidata na aton nga search for queen? <laughs> si Romina. <laughs> Queen of Aklan. Next is, we have Mel Ger Grecia Kimpo. Ayay mo sa atong nga uh, kilit, no? Queen of Aklan candidate. Next, we have Archie Sky. Tama ba? Sky. Uh, oh, parang foreigner ito. Sky, eh. Queen of Aklan candidate. Next, we have uh, Tony Alien. <laughs> Alia, I'm sorry, sorry. Alia Santa Maria Roldan. Yan, okay. Another candidate. Next, we have Errol Ordonez. Ordo Ordines. Ordi Ay, sorry, sorry. Or? Dines. Ordines, sorry. Uh, iba rin pagkasulat eh. Uh, organizer. Organizer ng Queen of a Clan. Uh, next is Shari Angela Ibarra. Uh, di ba? <laughs> Next is Enzo Mator Matores. Ah, Enzo. Next we have Maria Stephanie Lopez. Next we have MJ Lopez. Ba, daming mga Lopezes. MJ. Uh -huh. Nagparado ng mga Lopezes. Tagaya ano ra, ADS, CDN. Ano nga ni? Uh. Natakot si Jimmy. <laughs> Next, we have Jemery Riontoy. Oh, di ba? Very proud graduate of AB Communication, oh. MBCN. May hatak eh, no? Okay, may audience impact. <laughs> taga NBC abe. Basko kita na palakpak ni Aljun. <laughs> Ay, taga NBC abe, no? A product of NBC. And next, we have the last but not the least, do Dalen Taborda. Tama ba? Taborda. Oh. Dalen. So, partner Edwin, mahala tayo ito ng mga televiewers na bihis na bihis at talagang ayos na ayos sa ito ng mga bisita makaroon. Tungod ay, ito itong pag-istorya ito makaroon is about queen, how to become a queen yeah. of a clan. Oh. Uh -huh. Bukon at hangay ra, especially nga, nga sa part ko ito niya organizer, nga tipunon tanan do mga beauties nga ra. Actually, partner, daya nga ra, sangkiri, pagkata sanda ra. Yes. So, let us now uh, hear uh, a message from the organizer, Mr. Errol, uh, Miss Errol Ordines. Errol. So, tell um, us something about, tell us something about Queen of Aklan. Hamat may atong Queen of Aklan, na paano nung umpisa ra, ag uh, ano rum direction ka raya sa province sa Baklan? Um, Queen of Aklan is a transgender and gay pageant uh, which centers on HIV and AIDS advocacy. We started it in 2017 um, in line with the province celebration of the World AIDS Day. So we're doing it in uh, commemoration of the World AIDS Day. 
Um, but in 20, way back in 2013, we did the first ever um, search in the province which focuses on the HIV and AIDS advocacy. At that time, we call it Miss World AIDS Day. No, but after that, um, we uh, did not pursue it due to uh, financial difficulties because the queen of a clan um, solely depends on solicitations, sponsorships. Yes, before. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and then um, in 2017, we, uh, we did it again. And um, this year, we have it on our third year already. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, the primary uh, the primary objective of the Queen of a Clan is to raise awareness no, among the, the public on the HIV and AIDS prevention and control. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, um, it's no secret that the province of a Clan has, at the moment, 215 cases, cases of as HIV. Of, as, as of all? March 2019, that's, that's a present um, 200? statistics. 215. 15. Yes. yes. So that's, that's the... It's a big one, huh? But you know, um, it's 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 the tip of the iceberg. You know, um, yeah, mas tama. marami pang As As reported, Yes, reported pa lang yung two hundred fifteen. Yes. So, so yung hindi pa nagreport, yung hindi pa nadadiagnose, yun ang mas delikado. Ah, uh, wapat na nagguwa. Kasi yung nga kagaya ng ganito mga usapin, mga makarang historia ng arahay. Wapat na ilar iba mag come out into open because of the stigma nga mauron and uh, ako nyan gusto ipangutan na kay Erol as he was uh, speaking nga why this sector yes nga dapat nga dayagid nga sector do mag spearhead sa advocacy uh, yeah. kontra sa makamagatay nga AIDS IV AIDS yeah good question um, in 2012 uh, we were called by the provincial Provincial Health Office Provincial of the Health Aklan. Office of Aklan, yes. We were called um, for a training. Mm -hmm. um, it's a training for peer educators mm -hmm. on HIV and AIDS prevention and control for MSM. MSM stands for Men Having Sex with Men. MSM. Uh, Kintipo na da kami for a training and that started our advocacy in the province. But you know, the HIV and AIDS advocacy in the province has been... Um, um, intensified since 2001. At that time, kasi there was a funding from the United Nations. Yes. And USAID. Uh, uh, U U Un UNFPA. UNFA. Uh, uh, yes, okay. Yes, no. So, um, gin, gin revive it, Provincial Health Office, Dayang Langalaga Group. And why this group? Uh, why this group? Because our, our statistics, our records show that most of the cases are coming from this group. Yes, yung men having sex with men. Vulnerable yes. sectors. Vulnerable. Ito yung pinakamataas makaroon nga rate in uh, mode of transfer. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Dati kasi is yung common na uh, uh, women, men, uh, yes. sex engagement. This time, based sa report ng PAHO last month lang, ang pinakamataas ay yung men having sex with men. Yeah. Kaya oh. ang sector din ito ang very vulnerable. Yeah. Yes, right. and, and um, it's not only in Naklana. It's, it's, yeah, it's world, worldwide, I think. Yeah, and in the Philippines, most of the cases talaga are coming from this group. And so we decided how to capture this group. Oh, so oh. We, we thought of several ideas like, you know, um, gathering them, symposium, information dissemination. But sabi namin, hindi mo sila, um, it's, it's not easy to gather these people kasi they are busy people. Correct. You know, they, are, they, are, they work in yeah, parlor, mobile. they work in yeah, maraming Very mga active. trabaho oh. itong mga tao ito. Ah, walang tulugan ito eh. Yeah, so <laughs> sabi namin, um, Kel, when is the best time to gather this population? So sabi namin, alam mo, nag... nag um, nagtitipon-tipon ang LGBT, ang gay and transgender community during pageants. You know, um, they are handlers, they are makeup artists, Correct. they are um, Scout. trainers. Scout. Of, uh, talent uh, scouts. Yes. Yeah. So, sabi namin, why not do a pageant which focuses on HIV and AIDS? You know, the, there's Miss Earth, which um, uh, advocacy is focused on environment. And so we will have a pageant which centers on HIV and AIDS advocacy. And so we did the Miss World AIDS Day in 2013. Okay, partner, if mm -hmm. I may say uh, a little bit of the history of 
people or sector nga hamat gin nagtipon sa Dakara. Yes. Uh, during those time, nag-abot niya ro United Nations yes. Fund for Population Activities. With the funding. Yeah, with the funding. So they call themselves UNFPA, uh, Fifth Country Program. Yes. And uh, it so happened, a uh, very fortunate nga ro PIA naging part sa ro niya ro nga Ooh. grupo. Hmm, taga UN. Oh, taga UN. <laughs> Aga, siyempre, ay, uh, uh, we started with uh, advocacies, trainings. Romero, kami rin training. Then, kami rin nagkatao training. Until such time, nga nagabinahog among, among nga fund yes. na ila ro, taga UN. Because of the activities. Because of the activities. Mm -hmm. ay, dahil manami gin matamatood. Mm -hmm. So, hato man na, uh, paano natin mag-gather ro mga vulnerable sector So, what ay agi kami, agam-agam, may nagsabat agi, parlorista. Mm. Ato nan sa parlor, do mga aton nga rang mga kaibahan, ag aton nga tipunon, istoryaho naton, itrain naton, ag tawan sa nga baga it, ano gin nga, nga maging advocacies, mga advocates. Mm -hmm. Now, aside from that, uh, actually it's a very long story, pero hararo, pero short of it. Uh, naging, ano, very cooperative. Naging masadyaro grupo with all the fundings. Unlike makaroon kay Errol nga naga karamaal tayo matusoy kung sino mabuo funding. So amon nga fans, kabo-abo, we go to Boracay, we go to other places, and we... Ang problema noon kung paano i-spend ang funding. Yeah, oo. At sa kaayon ng UN na hindi ka nagastos. Pag binigyan ka ng pera ng United Nations at tinipid mo, magagalit sila. So dapat zero-zero. Pag zero na na yan, Request ka na naman, buhos ka taro funds. Uh, nga naman na po, naurus ang bilog ka nga bunga na na is the Provincial AIDS Council and the Butterfly Brigade yes. na kung siin gin uh, tugad it mga ibang Provincia. sector nga ra mm -hmm. sa Pilipinas. Yes. Aga si Errol man, makahambay ka ron, probably uh, he was, she was very young then, mm -hmm. pero naging peer educator imaw. Mm -hmm. Aga kaibahan ka ron, Ro, ro offshoot at Butterfly Brigade, hay hara mga peer educators. So, uh, we had a lot of people, puro bright. Agro sa bilog ka si Kaka, Karillo. Yeah. And we are very proud with Kaka kasi yeah, na, oh. naka-encounter oh. kayo sa regional meeting of uh, health officers. And, ano, Hindi uh, lang regional. Lagato na imaw sa international. And he was oh. recognized as one of the oh. pillars no, of hmm. uh, the, the advocacy. So, Impressed ako kasi taga-aklan siya. We were always in Manila to meet all those people from And UN. he started but the Butterfly Brigade, di ba? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And uh, every time Kaka talks, everybody listens. Nga na ito kami sa likod ay very proud ko mga Akeanon. So, ako ay pangutanan na ako ay, gay ka rin ba? Ano sa tingin mo? <laughs> <laughs> what you see is what you get. Oh, pero ang boss ni Anon is well represented yun na Akean. And uh, with Kaka, Hay na ila kita ako. Ag nakita na ako makaroon doon kay Errol. So Errol, can you please say something about what uh kun ano ri imo nga mga nasayran pa dati sa ali sa Butterfly Brigade, naging pre-educator ka and with the Provincial AIDS Council. Um I think I got into HIV and AIDS advocacy because my entry to the Philippine Red Cross was a training on peer education and yes. HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. But at that time, my motivation in joining the training is that it will be conducted in the island of Boracay. So I oh. okay, go ako dyan. Bagong graduate ako at nursing. So I ko okay, pasasali ako. And then after the training, I realized that there's really a need mm -hmm. for me to, to, to uh, work on this advocacy because, you know, cases are growing. And... It's not just the work of the health sector. Yes. Right? Yes. Oh. I believe it's everybody's Communi business. Community is concerned. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, parang, parang kasi hindi, hindi na pag-uusapan, especially yes. in the public. Ayaw pag-uusapan. Ayaw pag-uusapan. Sabi ko, my, this is a health concern, and this is not just the concern of the health, this is not just the concern of, of the government, but this is everybody's concern. Eh. Mm -hmm. It has to be um, open in public, it has to be um, kailangan uh, pag-uusapan. And... In 2012, I, I was lucky to be um, invited also by the Provincial Health Office. And um, it was there that I met Sir Kaka Carillo. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he, he was very inspiring, mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. very persuasive. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and I see the passion of um, being an advocate for HIV and AIDS. And 
that started my my work on age seven and age okay. kasi up until now maagaw na akong partner yes uh, ang dami si mong ka, alam eh oh. hambay na na very kumbagay contagious si kaka nga ray mm -hmm. uh, I have seen kaka cried mm -hmm. cried a river because of this project ag abo ron nagakontra ka na it's because ina ka ron ay haumpisahan mo ron nagaobra ka ron may haobra kang manami may halipatan kang iba so ginabash ka wapataka to na uso ng mga bash bash na word Mm -hmm. Pero ginaano tayo mao so nagatangi si kaka kamon nagiinom kami mm -hmm. nagiinom kami ag every time nga maginom ta kami wata kami nagistorya at iba kunti kun ano ra kamagayran para sa rayang grupo and uh, until then nga kuaon si kaka ya ginbuo tayo mao ay mayad tabi oh, mao rito pirated siya eh pinayre tayo mao region and, uh, region yan nga ako hambay region. nga wat abit kinabaton nga 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 ano nga tawag kara wat kinabaton nga ap apostolis apostol sa anang sarili nga nga Area. lugar ko mm -hmm. so anyway ito nun and di ka to na ako nabatian about Erol uh, we, we were having a meeting and uh, may naghambay nga you should you should meet Erol Ordines sino ma akong doon ay siyempre man another agi okay oh, ano na tabo sa Iloilo ka mo no you were in Iloilo nga nag talk siguro si Erol o nag nag intra ka sa pageant man <laughs> Matsa ano, basta uh, Matsa conference in Iliilo Where nakita it mga tao Ito Na si Erol Is one good uh, One asset Sa probisya takyan para, para sa rayang aranga komunidad And di ka to na ako Tagintun sa Red Cross Haron man na si Erol Ordinis Tinawag ko kagi imaw Aginakambay ako Batian ko makon Hindi mong kamangairan Nga ginobra ito sa Iliilo Di ka to na yung kami nag ano Mag magtinawag yung mga kakot manong. Hawat ang ilang takot manong? Manang lang. <laughs> <laughs> tatay. Joke, joke. Tatay ito. Oh, tatay. Okay. So, <laughs> na, na mention natong kayo na it's a community concern. It's not only the concern of the sector, but it uh, brings me down to my realization na ang LGU, go, uh, local government unit, is mandated, every LGU is mandated to establish this uh, HIV council from the barangay to the municipal and to the provincial, di ba? And we have the National Council for HIV and AIDS. Now, please uh, update us. Ano na bang nangyari sa provincial government HIV council at yung mga municipal council natin on HIV? This is a mandate, actually. Alam ko yan because I, tangalan, we are also obliged, no? Uh, during my time pa as Kasangguni Ang Bayan, we always see to it na meron council. Pag wala, it's a red mark. <laughs> so, please update us no, sa mga nagapagamati. Bakit kailangan meron talagang HIV AIDS council from the barangay to the municipal and to the provincial level? Um, it's good no, that the province of Aklan is... Um, it's... it's, um, it's Dito. Merong, ang province of Aklan kasi may, mga, may success story about HIV AIDS advocacy. Um, in fact, we were awarded by the, by the national office. No, na we were one of those um, provinces, provinces in the entire country, in the entire country na, na um, maganda at tong implementation on HIV and AIDS. And yes, it, it's correct, no, Sir Jane, there's a mandate. There's a government mandate the um to every uh, that every barangay municipality and the province should set up an aids council this council um is a multi-sectoral council mm -hmm. it um it includes every sectors in the community and it works on primarily the prevention and control of aids yes. in the province we have a, a strong um aids council a prov provincial aids council but However, sa mga munisipyo nato, yes, there are may, several. May uh, there are several na merong merong may mga councils, no? But it stays in the paper, eh. Mm. It's Apilion, not oh. it's not functional. I think it's, it's not reality. working. Yes. Oh, Nahakadisappoint. Compliance ko lang. Yeah. Compliance. Oh, that's also my uh, uh, kind of disappointment sometimes, no? Pero reality on the ground, ang daming priorities ng mga local yeah. chief executives. Oh. But para sa akin, this issue is non-negotiable. It should be there. Kailangan inandyan siya kasi pa, pataas ng pataas ang atong... And may mga studies, may survey ang World Vision. Mm -hmm. oh. This last year lang. Last year. Oh no. Yeah, 2018. Nag-survey sa adolescents, uh, senior high, 
Ang dami pa rin walang alam about HIV and AIDS. Even the mode of acquiring it. Oh, okay. Ang dami pa rin misinformation. So, ang tanong ko, saan yung mga, anong nang ginagawa ng mga council? Ano ang ginagawa ni DepEd? Sorry ah, but this, De, is totoo yan. this is based on yung nag na-invite na tayo. Were you invited ba ng World Vision Philippines? Kasi may mga program sila teaching children how to be protected in school and in the community. And one factor na identified ang children vulner children's vulnerability is yung sa adolescent health na yung early engagement with sex. And maraming teenage pregnancies cases Bakit? First engagement nila with sex, no protection at all. Oh. Eh, lalo na sa HIV. And, my oh. God. So, it's oh. the same concern, di ba? At tinanong po. sila, during the time ba na nag-sex kayo, eh, may protection? Wala. Bakit? Alam nyo ba, do you know about HIV? Hindi. Wala. So, this is an alarming uh, scenario para sa akin as a legislator na akala ko, <laughs> ikaw ay akin din, akala ko, aware, ang level of awareness na ng aklanons especially young people, is that high, but to my disappointment, based on the 2018 uh, survey ng World Vision na na-present nila sa pro provincial ano, uh, community agencies, kasama ang health doon, very alarming. Parang may resistance pa nga ako, eh, na parang ayaw kong tanggapin yung result, but it is the actual result. Sabi ko, baka, baka mali yung tanong. Ano bang specific question? Eh, very simple lang ang question. Very simple talaga yan. Ano ba ang narinig mo na discussion about HIV AIDS sa eskwelahan? Hmm. Wala. Hmm. Question as as do you talk hmm. about sex at home? Yeah. Lalo nang wala. Wala. <laughs> diba? Because tabu nga eh. Hmm. So, ah, uh, Abo-abo pa istoryahan. Abo-abo pa tag uh, na ang mga, mga kaibahan sa media. Uh, very passionate siya kita, Karets, because this one group is, uh, as I've said, very close to my heart. Nga ni ay uh, abo-abo ta. Like, uh, mga ni makamasay na natin, ha man, Erol, it, uh, may makara kita. At ano paro ibang tinutuyo? It, imo nga rin uh, uh, grupo uh, sa pag-organize ni Imot Pina Baklan. Okay, so um, the Queen of Aklan was um, conceptualized, uh, yun yung kanina sabi ko, to, to raise awareness. And sabi namin, we have to, to uh, think out of the box. We need to think of mga, mga um, innovations in our advocacy. So we, we have this pageant. At kasi kapag may pageant, visible sanda, pinag-uusapan. Yes. Crowd drawer so, ang pageant eh. So why not um, using this as a platform for 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 doing the HIV, the, the advocacy on HIV and AIDS, and um, also um, it's 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 good na you know people now are aware that we have Queen of Aklan, and why we have this Queen of Aklan? Because pag parang palaging it's part of the branding eh, na parang ay sino yan? No? They are Queen of Aklan. What's Queen of Aklan? It's a pageant for gays and transgender na ang focus ay HIV and AIDS advocacy and that starts the conversation. So what's HIV? What's what's AIDS? So yes. yun yung yun yung talagang, primer, parang primer. Talagang, yun yung gusto namin na mapag-usapan kasi mm -hmm. you know it, it we, all we need is just to start a conversation at yun na. Mm -hmm. Sabi nga ni Sir Jay no, abog hapon niya misinformed and hindi educated about yes. HIV oh. and AIDS. Despite of all our efforts, marami pa rin hindi, walang may tamang kaalaman about it. Meron silang alam, pero misconceptions. Yes. You know? Besides sa part it, my office, Philippine Information mm. Agency, huwag ani kami it, uh, ginaantulan gid nga ano, uh -huh. nga magbinakaroon kami mag-inistorya. Kung buko niya sa mga council, like the Provision Aids Council, and yes. the, the uh, being a member of the UNFPA ng, uh, core team, hey, it's because funds Mm -hmm. Now, tatlo malang kami sa probinsya at Akyan, and we have 17 towns. Paano naman maobra ron? So, guilty man kami sa rayang part. Yes. Gawa man kami nakatrabaho. We being your information agency, mm -hmm. wa kami taobra nga halin gita kamon. Yes. Pero, kaya nga we are doing this kasi we have to partner with other sector stakeholders. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, partner, gusto kong mangutana sa mga guwapang. Gusto ko na si Mel. Uh -huh. How is the feeling to be identified with the Queen of Aklan program uh, in, in the province? Um, 
I'm very proud actually to be a part of this. It's true that um, what you've said earlier, what Sir Errol said earlier, na even us in the uh, community, the LGBTQ+, uh, bukon kami aware sa um, statistics, cases of HIV. So it's very good that I um, got myself into this pageant. And um, this isn't just a pageant alone. This is a pageant with a cause. And one of the um, uh, the trainings that we got from this pageant is we we have seminars, trainings about HIV mm -hmm. prevention and the treatment, uh, the treatments and therapies available for those who have for those people who are living with HIV. So this is very um, educational. Um, I think. Um, Right now, there is no reason for us not to be aware, not to be educated, not to be informed of um, HIV prevention and AIDS. So I'm very glad that I got myself into this budget. Thank you, Mel. So let's hear from M MJ. No, oh. the same question. Masa budget ano ta kita? Proper. Ano ito parang training? At least ano ra? Yeah. Magaling sila jan. Oh. Upon realization of my purpose, I consider myself to be part of this wonderful organization that envisions to eliminate and eradicate ignorance among people about HIV and AIDS because as an educator by profession... Oh, you're a licensed teacher? Yes, sir. Oh. I pledge to do my service mm -hmm. because... And I choose this advocacy, this cause, because this is really part of our society today and HIV and AIDS is circulating in every veins of our society mm -hmm. and I believe everyone could be uh, could be a carrier of this mm -hmm. so I pledge myself to be part of this wonderful movement to build a strong community against HIV and AIDS. Okay, thank you. Um, MJ? Skip, Errol, skip, uh -oh. skip. Uh -oh. Oh, well, Jeremy, the same question. Um, I would like to quote uh, Pia Wurzbach's answers mm -hmm. like the, um, she said that to be a Miss Universe is both an honor and responsibility. So I guess I would say then that to be a Queen of Aklan is both an honor and a responsibility. Yes, yes. Because it's an honor because you know, represent the municipalities. Oh. And if, I know, if lucky enough, we can get the kami. But mm -hmm. aside from that, the responsibilities of the Butterfly Brigade Ag it mga organizers is very mabugat. Mm -hmm. But when we started doing it, we na, na feel namun ya, it's very worth thing again over namun yung bagay nga run. And aside from that, is um, do pagtao it proper information was very close to my heart since I was I graduated as a communication um, student before. Mm -hmm. So much a responsibility man na when you mag it, pro it proper information to everyone regarding of the of HIV and AIDS and and also I um I think this is my purpose in life mm. so sa kabuhi buhay na ako niya ilinisip kung ano ro ako niya ubrahon sa ang kabuhi finally it found something um something important and useful nga is spend ako niya time a wow. purpose driven Finding life purpose. yeah Purpose driven life and uh, may hagambagon pagit kita nga tanan kita may moral nga responsibilidad sa atong isig katawo or yes. itmangod nga ni hay tanan kita maging advocates tanan kita maging uh, information officers tanan kita maging media man yes. mga man baga nga hindi natin pagsuluhon kung ano ro iyak aton nga nasayran i-share naton yes. like si Sir Teacher Imaw mm -hmm. you can always integrate fashion designer oh nga ni that is Journalist. Mm. I have I have heard a lot from about Mel mm. Gracia Kimpo. Agwa na ako ni mo na meet. Makaroon pa yan. First time? Yeah. O oh, baka in love ka. Bukod Beware. Na, <laughs> sa ako na rin. Pagka, ako na pagka o titiran nga journalist, huwag pa na ako ni mo nakita. And I saw her kayo na ito sa guwa. Ay, mm, bagot ama ako na rin. Imo gali si Mel. So anyway, uh, before natin pa pangutan no, natin niya mga kaibahan sa yes. media, gina-acknowledge natin si uh, Robin Lacerna. Yes. Of course, uh, recently may natabo sa naging nag-viral da aga nagawala gin Rosambilog na ninyo nga ka-sector, ka-sister hayato nga ni Ron nga wa tayo mo gin pasugod sa CR Itbayi. Mga mga bayi, oh. Oo. So, 
Ako niya pangutana is... Gimbawagan, because it's a policy, the policy of the mall, oh, yata, no? Oo. Oh, oh. So, ako niya pangutana is, how did you feel about that? And what? Kung ano rin, pwede ubrahon pa. Uh, pabor baga ka mo nga, nga makaroon makaroon lang na kita, or kinangan baga rin gobyerno sa anang building code, tatlong klaseng si Ardo pa ubrahon? Bimel. Um... When I heard about ano, Gretchen's case, syempre I felt bad for her because I belong in the community where she is also a member. Tapos I, I, I would say na um, I'm a transgender. So I, um, I consider myself um, a woman. Pero in Gretchen's case kasi, um, I think she was in the right place at the right time because in Quezon City, I think they have a, a city ordinance for gender free, uh, for gender fair, um, for trans, uh, for the for the transgenders to use the uh, public uh, toilet of women. So, um, siguro rugin ubra lang siguro it janitors hay uh, calmly talk to her and. Uh, wal lang siguro gin sensationalize lang man it media ro ano ro issue um, but sa uh, kung ibutang ako sa sitwasyon ni ano ni Gretchen I myself do not use um, uh, the CR, comfort, the CR for, of, men. for men mm -hmm. because I'm not comfortable going there mm -hmm. uh, also at the same time I don't use the comfort room for women because hindi bukod man ako comfortable uh, what I usually do is when I'm, whenever I'm in a public place, I always look for a gender-free toilet um, because the CR, hi, you should be, uh, it's a place where you should be comfortable using. So, do you know? Uh, siguro, I think it's better that uh, the government, since the uh, LGBT, uh, LGBTQ community are also ta taxpayers, siguro may but provide lang man siguro the government it um, toilet for separate ano, no yeah for everyone to be comfortable using mm -hmm. okay siguro it's high time mga igmanghod nga nga ro gobyerno na cobra eh para sa mga nursing moms may padidian nga lugar in everywhere sa mall for PWDs for PWD we, may access kita i have my own CR so, siguro it's high everywhere. time everywhere <laughs> nga tawag nyo nanda it do yung uh, uh, tawag ka ra it pagpangod or attention or concern ro aton nga ra nga natabo. Pero partner take note ha, sa natabuan sa lugar mi andang city ordinance respecting the it's right of the, transgender. Ro mga tawo sa idagom ro wa ka Yes. Yun ang problema. That's yeah. the gap. Oh, Hindi oh. siya na cascade doon oh, sa mga business oh, oh. Uh, permits. Diba, may mga HR sandara, oh. may human resource management office. So dapat siguro ro ana mga frontliners i-brief kita ron mm -hmm. maging sensitive kita. Mm -hmm. Like Kun ano ro need it kada customer ay manami iron for your business ako magbalik-balik nakatanda ka mo nga iya sa Iloilo hay rosan bilog nga mall hay may andang mga ice ice nga to ito na kay naturo mga parents with the children hay rosan bilog mga to ay ah na na wa taman at lagad to yay obra man sandali ka to do yun do business eh do yun do business so ano ako nga point is kung gintawan kita at access para sa PWD gintawan kita para sa mga nursing mothers why don't the government give kung ano ro dapat para sa atong gender mga LGBT? free CR yeah, ano oh. tawag diyan gender gender free gender, free. gender fair, gender fair. Ah, okay oh. gender oh. Fa fair kasi we we, we we always we always keep on talking about gender equality gender equality hay nano ano ro natabo nga ra daya nga ra awake pero parang wala pa ako nakita na gender fair CR yes yeah, siguro sa aton Pero I sa iba't ang lugar, I don't know. Parang hindi siya ganun, ganun ka, no? O kasi nga, hindi pa nabibigyan ng pansin. Mm -hmm. So, dapat pa bang may mangyari muna bago tayo gumawa ng action? Dapat pa bang may mapusasan? Oo. <laughs> Kabatas, pusasan. Mapusasan pusasan dahil pati sa CR. Pag ginawa yun, kati mo dahil agi ka. That's oh bad. Okay. okay. O baka mag-carry away ka. Bakit <laughs> tomboy, agi, o tama, constraint, agi na bastos, ta, gikita, ko gata. Yeah, it's human right Ay, violation. Ay, tawag lang siguro. Okay. Ay. It's Pabuo a human, human right issue yan para sa akin. Okay, so let's uh, give the floor to our uh, media partners. Oh. Unahon na ito, pinaka-senior, si, si Sinong Boy. Ha? Kay Sinong Boy. 
So let's ask, uh, let's have questions coming from the media partners. Uh, thank you and good morning. Welcome second time, Kapian. Ngayon nanday. Uh, ah, second time na ba? Second time ito. Eh. Ah, last year nandito <laughs> din. Uh, I, I wasn't here. Huh? Uh, kaya, second time. Uh, na, na, I think eh, parang high time ito because you have been talking about uh, uh, society disease. Social disease, society disease. Because I have been talking a while ago about the HIV. Yes, the virus and the full-blown AIDS. Thank, thank you for, the, for that concern because akala ka, uh, queen, it's all pageant, no? Pero with this kind of concern, uh, I, wa I wanted to ride on also the issue. Because uh, napalag-usapan na yan yung na nangyari sa mall. Eh. It's now in the Congress, I think. <laughs> they, they keep on discussing. Yes. Uh, in local, in our local, uh, in our locality, like Buracay, no? Are you aware about the, the the data, the status now of HIV in in Aklan? Because Buracay now, according to the DOH, according, uh, ito may may clipping sa korito, uh, national uh, paper ito, editorial. In Buracay, we have 41 cases of HIV. Uh, nagulat ako, based on this editor, it's more on Kalibo, which is 65 yes, cases. Yes, correct. Correct Tama data. Ba? Correct. Okay. Uh, second, Kalibo, ang highest percentage of minor na pregnancy dito rin. Yes. Maraming 15 and below pa nga. Uh, buntis dito. So, with this issue, what can you, ano ang, anong move ninyo uh, sa activities ninyo na, i, yeah. na gagawin ninyo dito because uh, what you're talking well ago is all awareness. Eh. Yes. I hope uh, in this kind of uh, group like you, uh, hindi lang pa beauty-beauty sa stage, eh, sana may mayroong healthy activities naman na kagaya Yeah, yung mga specific activities. Uh, thank you. Specific programs. Yeah, gusto ko itanong din yan. Uh -oh. um, ano bang mga naka-line up? Meron ba? Or programming? With Queen of Aklan kasi we're uh, like what I've said kanina, our primary purpose is to intensify our campaign mm -hmm. through, you know, we have um, information disseminations. And speaking of information disseminations, we've been doing it for the past years. We've May pageant o wala? Yes. Uh -huh. We're going to schools, the communities. Every year, um, every celebration of World AIDS Day, Ru, Ru, Ru Province, hi, ga school to school campaign, ga, ga ag to sa community. And now, I think we are, we're, we're doing it in workplaces. Mm -hmm. And So that's one activity? Yes. And okay. the, kasi sa HIV advocacy, we believe that the problem is ignorance. Mm -hmm. And when the problem is ignorance, what's what's the best weapon? That's through education. Education. So, don't tayo naka focus, no? And um, siguro with the activities, um, aside from you know we have this um, information dissemination. Each one of them is also um, um, obligated to have their own projects and programs related to HIV and AIDS advocacy. 25% of the of the total 100% of the pageant comes from the advocacy. So there's a closed door advocacy interview, no, which um, will be done by the uh, provincial health office, and each one of them will present their their um, their programs or projects related to HIV and AIDS. So, um, tawagera, and and when we say um, programs and advocacy. And, and projects, Activities. they need to prove to the interviewers, no, people from the PHO, that this project and program is doable, is feasible, it, it, it has a social impact, you know, and, you know, they are 19 candidates. Representing every municipality. Yes, and just... Lahat ba ng 17 municipalities meron? No, wait. Hindi. So, paano ma left out yung mga municipalities na walang ad advocate on HIVH? Like, for example, yung munisipyo na wala, sinong tatrabaho doon? 
Well, I believe each municipality naman meron okay. silang in the side of the health sector of the of the rural health unit, no. Pero um, my point is that they are they are 19 people and can you just imagine 19 people with 19 projects and programs related to HIV and AIDS advocacy? That's big enough. Yes. Pero magugusto natin yung mga specific programs. So, yun yes. ang punto ni Sir Boy. Uh, after the pageant, na hindi lang tayo within the pageant but we want to expect specific activities after the pageant to be implemented gra uh, grassroots. Like, isa na yung activity na mention mo, Errol, yung uh, school hopping. Yes. Na hindi lang one time, but uh, let's do it uh, in tri trimester or every uh, quarter, for example, uh, in partnership with the municipal health office or the peer educators group ng municipality or the AIDS council of the municipality, something like that. Because we believe na hindi kakayanin ng kandidata lang. Ang di ba, nong boy, no? It's uh, I, very I, hard. Mm. I, I ask this question because uh, uh, may, 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 may mga misconceptions kasi sa grupo ninyo. But because uh, some... For example, uh, ano yung misconception? A misconception meaning uh, some... Uh, uh, ang akala nila, maybe you, you one among the career, uh, careers of this HIV. So I hope... Pwede, Since your group is now developing, Virus pa lang ay, uh, ating anahin to because we wanted also, sabi ni Edwin, uh, we wanted that you will be respected. So I, this kind of misconception should, could not uh, be made. I think that's a, gusto ko i-capture yung tanong na yan. Possible ba na ang maging kandidata ng <laughs> Queen of Aklan is a carrier of the virus? Well, that's very true, no? In fact, in... Uh, during the start of infection in the year 1984 in the United States, it was first called as the gay disease, mm -hmm. yung HIV. It was first called as a gay disease kasi yung mga infected are all gays at that yes. time. Oh. No? But you know, from 1984 up until the present time, our statistics shows that it's not just... Um, it's not just gays and, and transgenders and members of the LGBT who were infected or were affected. Everybody can be affected yes. by this HIV. As long as... Uh, Whether you're professional, there are sexual. professionals who, who, uh, who are uh, people living with HIV. Yeah, with multiple partners. Even children. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, we have children who were infected by the HIV because, you know, it, 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 they pregnancy. got it from their, from yeah. their mother now because of pregnancy. Oh. So, um, um, there's misconception and we we have to correct that misconception that no we're not carriers of the virus no in fact we're is a requirement yata bago mag pageant is yung uh, test it's hiv test well it's lahat it's, sila in a test um it's it's not actually a requirement no but, ah, hindi but requirement. we to see, we 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 see to it that that they get correct information about hiv test and this is also one of the primary aim of the of the pageant to let everybody know that there's a test. Yes. HIV test. It's free. So nagpa-test ba yung mga candidates natin? It's confidential. Natin? Every year all our can all our candidates know that HIV test is voluntary. Yes. You know it's it's it's, it's not a mandatory. It's not a mandatory kasi. And it's free. It's free. Pero mas maganda na i-highlight natin na nagpa-test lahat ng mga kandidata. Actually, every year, all our, all our candidates are... Um, Tested. Get, um, yes, no, they get the test. Confidential and, naman yan eh. And luckily, all of them are non-reactive. Oo naman. At yeah. kahit maging reactive pa, pag virus yan, hindi tatanggal yan ng human right ng carrier. Di ba? And sabi mo With nga, more reason na kailangan siyang tulungan para not to spread the disease. And sabi mo nga, sir, no, pwede ba na yung candidate ng Queen of Aklan is an, a person living with HIV? Well, um, ngayon wala tayong ganun, no? Pero who Hopefully knows? Wala, Maybe oh. in, the, in the coming years, there will be a brave person who will come out as an HIV positive in the province of Aklan, no? And uh, his or her life, no, will be an inspiration for others. Ako may passion in HIV and AIDS advocacy na, na mas lalong nag-grow. When I met these persons living mm -hmm. with HIV, these people living with HIV. And when you hear their stories, talagang maano mo na, my God, they have to, they have to go through this. Mm -hmm. You know, discrimination. Some of them, seven times nagpakamatay. Mm -hmm. No, and here they are now, they are 
talking about their, their stories and their inspiring people no, to come out and to be a voice mm -hmm. no, for HIV and AIDS advocacy. And, and these people are grabe and ano, when, when you see them, hindi mo masasabi na ay HIV. Okay. Ano Follow-up question. Oh, next question tayo. Uh, next question, Sir Ralph. Okay, thank you, SPJ. Ag si Win. Alat ako kay SPJ. Medyo nagpupilante ko talaga mga daliri. Oh. Medyo natutap na nyo. Nakaka-relate. Nakaka <laughs> <laughs> okay, no? Uh, good morning sa ato niya mga gays. Ag sa ato niya mga audience makaroon, no? I, I'm sure nag-inform niyo rin yung mga sisters nga mag magtanaw makaroon niya. Yes, may sa, followers ito. Okay, abo ron. No? Ag si Erol, no? Di ato na natawag na itong The Voice of Aklan Gays, no? Or, you have a role, Errol, para sa mga bading. Kamong kalip, kung tanong ta ka mo, what, anong gusto ninyong tawagun ka mo? Bading? Bakla? O whatever? Anong gusto ninyong, uh, a certain term nga, uh, medyo nilaan ninyo, medyo comfortable ka mo? Ha? Huh? I think that's a good question. To be... To be more politically correct. <laughs> oh, ngani. Uh, ano nabi? Ano? Ano yung prefer ano ninyong tawagin ka mo? Bakla, bading, sister, o kung ano whatever. Lady ninyong gusto. Yan eh, no? Well, we have this thing called gender identity. Eh, yes. You know, and ikaw lang yung nakakaalam ng gender identity mo. Uh -huh. So, uh, and when we say gender identity, it's a spectrum. It's a very wide spectrum. Kaya mayro LGBTQ plus plus plus. Kaya may plus plus plus. Kasi napakarami. It's a, uh -huh. it's a spectrum no, of, of uh -huh. identities, and it's not just limited to being a straight man or a straight woman. We have lesbians, Lesbian, we have gays, bisexuals. we have bisexuals, we have transgender, we have gender queer, we have intersex. No, but uh, personally, I consider myself as a gay. Mm -hmm. I belong to the gay community. But we also have these people who are uh, who call themselves as transgender. Transgender okay, man or transgender woman. Okay. Just like, for example, we have Miss Mel here. No, she identify herself as a transgender woman. She is a woman. No, and I think um, they are more comfortable when people call them ma'am or miss. No, not Mister or Sir. Yes. So, so parang ganon. And. Pero ikaw pwedeng Mr. Errol. Yes, it, no, it, kasi so, gay, ang, ang kanyang orientation is gay. gay. Yung transgender, ang preference niya, dapat tawagin mo akong ma'am because I'm a woman. Okay. So, yun so yung, you mean by spectrum. transgender, nag-clinically, nagpa-transform mo something? Okay, when we say kasi transgender, ito yung, yung mga tao na, na, for example, they are born male because of their physical and uh, biological characteristics. But, mm they identify themselves as the opposite mm -hmm. no so slowly they are transitioning mm -hmm. and um, some of them i uh, from being a man to a woman mm -hmm. some of them are from being a woman to a man mm -hmm. and we call them transgender transgender man or transgender woman mm -hmm. pero hindi um, necessarily nag, nag undergo sila ng surgery. Sex, uh, surgery. We have yeah. this sex reassignment surgery in which the uh, the appearance of the external genitalia are being mm. modified no to that of the desired gender. Yes. But um, more specifically we call them transsexual. Okay. Pero pag sinabi nating transgender either nagpa opera or hindi. So, it's an umbrella term, transgender. Kaya nga, spectrum. Transsexual. Oh. Yes, yung may operation yes, na, yung may ano na, may... I'm interested kasi bala ko magpa-undergo na yan. But plus gender, aha! Uh <laughs> o, okay. naka-live naka tayo ngayon sa Channel 3, ha? Naka-live tayo ngayon sa Channel 3. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, as uh, talking about, the, at least, no, there was a time way back... Naka-document yun, ha? We are serious about that. Okay. Naka-live tayo, eh. <laughs> Way back decades ago, no? Ro, ano, 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 mga bakla, nagpanagot sanda, kasi parang, ano, sanda, eh, yun niya, oh, pang tabukan da, Stigmatized, video game out ka, no? something, no? Judge. Pero makaroon man, may batangan, eh, you come out in the open, like, you're being accepted, like, parang kasama na kayo sa, sa level of society, nga, kung sayin, ay, abungan niya makaroon mga sikat, nga, katulad ni Buya Bonda, abungan mga fashion designer, mga kilaga, mga Pilipino, not only in the Philippines, but in the, but it's ganda in the whole world, okay? So, Ro, yun, no? Ah, uh, Rin abi nga Randa abi paghamba. Hindi <laughs> sa ka question wala ako. Pero may may ako malang lang yung video ginadugang mga punto de vista. O de vista. Randa abi nga pag incendi nga kun ro kari ro ro lain nga mapiktado it uh, AIDS. 
Hayro ano at ano mga bakla? Hindi man, buko man. So, wala akong pakiinsinti ka ron. The, the reason niya, abo nga mga bakla nga napiktado it AIDS kasi ron ang way of uh, sexual activity ay kung baya abi agaki ay harap-harapan. Ay sa agaki abi ay patalikod. No? You know what I mean? Uh, kasi ron niya, rubaya abi ay kung may ka-penetrate, may anat ano natural glands nga nag-lubricate sa fr- nga hindi magkaroon ng friction ako hindi magkaroon ng micro wounds ilang talagang i-describe yan oo ag sa sa ito abi ay kung sa patalikod hayro sa likod niya ron ay what abi sanda ron it may, may natural glands nga makakushion it maka lubricate so nagka-create it micro wounds so what's so, about lubrication now what's the connection oh, sa so, virus there nga may micro wounds karon naka 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 transfer din nga mapiktado it it's IV ag AIDS okay now haralat akong pangutan na Nakong pangutahan na, you've heard about, you've heard about, <laughs> sige yan, you've heard about it's IB, and you also have heard about AIDS. Yes. So what's the difference, para maatahagan sa atong tao, ano ro AIDS, ang ano ro it's IB? Yeah, very basic question, very basic question, parang, okay. Uh, for the benefit of mga televiewers, kasi nga, we have to face the reality na talagang ang awareness level natin ay bumagsak. Please answer that, please. Oo. Okay, no? so thank you for that question. Actually, I think isa sa mga misconceptions eh, na yung HIV and AIDS are just the same. No, but it's not. They are two different conditions. Pag sinabi na kasi nating HIV, ito yung virus. Virus. This no. is the virus, no? Ito yung virus nga gasugod sa aton nga gawas when uh, uh, during mga um, Several uh, modes of uh, transmission at no? mm. sexual transmission, the mother to so, child. So, ibig sabihin, pag HIV blood. positive ka, ibig sabihin, may virus ka. Yeah. Uh, oh. When we say HIV positive, they are persons who have the virus. The virus pa lang. Yes, yes, they have the virus. Pero pag sinabi nating AIDS, ito yung, it, they are the persons who have the virus plus masyado nang mababa yung kanilang immune system. Immune system. In which, pumapasok na yung different opportunistic infections. Lahat infection. ng klaseng sakit yes. pwedeng pasukin dahil yes. wala ng immune system. Yes, like pneumonia, tuberculosis, skin cancer, and et, yun yung, yung AIDS natin. Full blown, full blown. Yes, no? So, it's not the same. Pag sinabi natin HIV, they are uh, HIV infected, they are people who have the virus, no? Pwede kasi na meron kang virus, you are living with the virus, but, but You, you, have, you don't have infections. Yes. For one, kasi... Active ka pa rin, nagtatrabaho ka pa rin. Yes. Tsaka, La- mm. tsaka kasi, um, meron kasi tayong gamot. Mm-hmm. No? We have this, um, yeah, we have this antiretroviral treatment or antiretroviral drugs. There, it's, it's not a cure no, to yes. the virus, but the, the, the function of the, of the therapy, of the treatment, is to um, stop the growth, yes, the growth of, of the virus HI, of the virus inside yes. the body so gina contain na, na. Yes. and you know we have these people living with hiv nas, mas healthy pa nga kaysa sa akin mas healthy pa sa iba no because they have healthy lifestyle they have already modified their lifestyle yes. and they're taking this pill every day every day, yes. every day. may maintenance yes no uh-huh. so, kaya nga kaya nga yung tanong kanina na possible possibly ba na Time will come ng ang sasali sa, wag naman sana, sa Queen of Aklan ay mga carrier na. That's very possible. Why not? Why not? Why not? Very Kasi uh, kahit may virus ka at may proper treatment ka, ang lifestyle mo naman is okay. Walang problema. Kasi yeah. hindi natin alam kung minsan nga kasama mo, di mo alam may virus SPJ, na pala. SPJ, ganito oh. yan. <laughs> ang itsura ng taong may HIV AIDS ay kagaya mo. Uh, kaitsura ko. Kaitsura hindi ko. natin malalaman. So, uh, Talking about kung malay mo sa pilang adlaw man ay maka-intro sa tadi kara sa talent show nga ano nga ra pageant kara pwede it's because may layi nga kon ikaw high career o may imo nga mauron don ag mag-apply ka trabaho ag balibaran ka because of your violation. ano yeah. hindi pwede ron yeah. nga ni ay tanan gihapon do anang rights as human hay ina ron ginatao correct si Mel may idugang yes sir and actually Um, they are the best advocate of, yes. yeah. of this oh. organization, oh. Uh, people living with HIV. And it's actually one of the best ways to fight stigma mm. and um, empower people living with HIV is to speak out openly of who they are and what they're going through. 
Mel, I am having goosebumps, no? Uh, every year, Abi Kato, hay, di yung may aton nga rang uh, Red Ribbon campaign, uh, sa end, it aton nga uh, World Age Day. Aga, may mga bisita kami, mami. Nga wakat imo kasayod, pusit, gali. Rubot sa pusit, pasitibot, asandara. So, we mingle, we talk, we eat together. Pero, pag abot sa programa, magguwa agad asanda nga positive tagalis asanda. Harawa na ka. Ag- Tapos ag- na-realize mo na, may nangyari pala kagabi. Ruin ba wata, <laughs> joke lang, joke. Ruin ba wata, SPJ, <laughs> nagtagaliwan at sa piyaka kinabuhi. It's because, pila because malang roon. Because of the full blown age. Nga niya, maano man baga nga, nga, last year ay, nag-iba pa kita December, ito sa plaza, then ay, natabo ka ay mga March, April, ay, maano man, batsag ka man. Yes. Okay. Yan, ito, advocate din ito eh. Good maraming, morning. Maraming friends ito sa sector. Uh, bago tanan, uh, before I uh, started asking questions, I would like to thank Ralph for that graphic information. <laughs> At my age, because I don't do sex, <laughs> kaya hindi ko alam yun. At your age okay. na? At my age. No, no. Uh, <laughs> you're referring to your stage now, <laughs> no? <laughs> Not before. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no. Uh, was it last Saturday that the uh, Errol invited me? Uh, surprisingly, after he saw me here, akala ko inibita lang ako na hapunan. Yun pala may trabaho ako doon. And I met these people there. Ay, ang gaganda. Oh, sab- tapos sabi ko nga, bakit ako nandito? Ang tatangkad pa! So para akong na, lumiit akong lalo. But do you know what uh, people, no? May, after that, ano, nag-post ako sa gabi, hanggang alas 3 na madaling araw, yung Facebook ko, yung cellphone ko, yung landline ko, tunog ng tunog. Sabi ng sister ko, ano ba ron? Naano ta ron nga nga, matilipuno nga ron ay hipos yung, may there was one person, aking aking gita, nga sinuport, sinusuportahan ko kayo. Sayan ko, sir, kung ikaw sa lugar nanda, hindi ka na akong suportahan, wala ka nang pupuntahan. And actually, these people are doing their very best to inspire uh, other people to come out. Because, ka, bisan sa cancer man gani, may, may mata may cancer, they don't even want to come out. But this is important for me. Three years na ako na nagsusuporta sa, sa inyo, Errol, ano? Uh, pero, I actually am beginning to like you more and more. Dahil nga nakikita ko ang sincerity ninyo na ang inyong uh, braveness, eh, bravery ninyo na kailangan makita nyo na ako hindi lang ganyan. You ha- yung sabi nga, ang respeto is hindi nabibili. Yes. It has to come out from you. We work for it. Mm. Yes. And if you have it, who cares about what other people think of you? What they think of you is their problem, not yours. Okay? So, yun nga ang kwan ko. Accept what you are and be happy with it. As long as you're doing the right thing. No? So, yun ang ano ko sa, you have the courage. You have the bravery to come out here. So, yun ang ano ko na, I would like to be on your side. Whatever other people say. <laughs> okay, so what's the question, ma'am? Sorry, sir. What's the question now? The question is... <laughs> excuse me. I am holding the microphone. <laughs> no. Uh, inaano ko lang kasi nga ama tao, people who are against you are ignorant. Okay? Bis- kahit nasabi natin nandun sila sa itaas, may mga rangko sila, ignorante pa rin sila. And uh, it's because na ayo nila na sila eh they are insecure with themselves. Yes, exactly. Anyway, the question is aside from <laughs> your advocacy of enriching the people of other uh, HIV uh, sufferers, ano pa ang iba niyong advocacy na pwedeng nating itulong sa ating community? Yes, aside, aside from HIV and AIDS. Um, aside from HIV and AIDS advocacy, I think one big problem that we're facing right now is the environment. Yes, climate um, change. Yes, climate change. Um, with what recently also, happened Earth, huh? with what recently happened in Brazil, I think it's about time that we uh, take this seriously. Uh, there is we have no other place to live in but our own very own planet. So I think this is one big issue also that we have to be serious about. Correct. Because the climate change is related to HIV. Is it a protest? Okay. 
for me, aside from HIV and AIDS uh, as a problem, so one common problem of our country or our world today is about discrimination. Discrimination. What specific? Oh, what specific? Uh, discrimination. In terms of gender, ah, okay. religion, and I believe that we are all diverse and we are all God's perfect masterpieces. And if we try to tolerate one's differences, if we respect one another, understanding, mm -hmm. and of course love one another, so we could have an amazing and a harmonious world. Okay. Discrimination. Oh, Jeremy. Um, for me, as a former communication student, is I think that one big problem we're facing right now is the um, the wrong dissemination of news in, on social media. Responsible reporting. Yes, and uh, responsible journalism. Yes, and the freedom of the press. I guess it's one thing that we should also focus on because, as we see, some people are getting uh, miseducated because of the infos given by by those people na, na wrong information na binibigay nila and it, and it is somehow uh, affect their um, their principles and point of views towards um, a certain thing. So I guess that's one another big problem for us. Okay, ang lalim ng mga kasama natin dito. Okay, yes, uh, sa inyong tatlo, isa lang ang medyo nakaano sa akin kasi environmentalist ako. Ah, okay. So it's it. Uh, We understand that. Si Mel, Kimpo. I have a present for you from the, uh, from London. <laughs> uh, nakuha ko ito sa um, Gay Pride. May premium Pride. pala. <laughs> yeah, so, can you pass it up? <laughs> so, what ito? Ano? Ako nakuha sa Gay Bar. Sa Gay Bar. Thank you. Naibigay ko Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mami Chita. Oh, next question, please. Oh, Robin. Thank you. Good morning, uh, ladies. <laughs> Para safe. Oh, oh, sige. Iyan kita kay uh, Sir Errol, ano yun, no? Uh, I don't know kung napangunta na kay Inara kasi, sorry ah. Uh, late I'm camera late. ka. <laughs> the late Robin oh, na sir na. So, better late than never. Kuno. Uh, sir Errol, no? uh, kung may record kita doon, kung pilaw niya rung, uh, yung saklan ha, rung, uh, may una makaroon na uh, ginatawag na HIV AIDS virus. Okay, so our latest um, record is as of March of 2019. You know, because every month, um, itong mga records na ito is coming from the AIDS registry, the Philippine AIDS registry. And in the province of Aklan, we have, as of March 2019, we have 215 cases. 215. 215 cases. Ah, I'm sorry, 215. And, <laughs> and, 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 itong mga cases na ito, this is um, an accumulated um, record no, of from the first infection up until the present time. So, etong 215, hindi natin alam, ito ay wala na, namatay na, yung iba, no? So, um, etong 215 is coming from all the municipalities in the province. Every oh. municipality is reporting yes. cases. Yes, lahat na ng so, municipality. I, I saw meron. the report, no? Uh, from the PHO, and every municipality, meron na silang share of numbers. <laughs> Ang highest, tama si Nong Boy, is Kalibo. Kalibo is Kalibo having the most cases yes, uh, na pinakamarami. Siguro the, the one of the reason why bakit sa Kalibo marami kasi um, yung ating uh, ang, ang ating uh, testing hub is, is available here. Yes. Uh, yes. No, so it's available here. So you know people are accessing it, no? Mas malapit sila so they go there and they get tested. Ah, uh, pwede kasi sir, yung record kasi natin, kinukuha natin upon um, their declaration, their test. And there's a uh, interview eh. Huh? Yeah, pag sinabi nilang um, yung place nila is Kalibo, then yun oh, yung yun mga yun. Upon sa, declaration ng uh, pasyente. So possibly sir na hindi talaga sila taga Kalibo, they're working here. Nilagay lang nila ng taga Kalibo sila. Uh, pero based sa report, nakita ko rung pinaka ano eh, complete report for 2018. Every municipality talagang may may breakdown kung pila, no? Alam ko ang sa tangalan, alam ko sa 
madalag, no? Very, minimal lang eh. Pero hindi, i-establish mo talaga, kasi mag-declare talaga ang ano eh. Ito yung tanong ko din sa registry natin, kung how accurate are we in establishing yung residency? Do we uh, ask ID or do we ask uh, cedula or something like that? Establish kung taga si Ingi Daimao. Um, eto kasi mga kaso natin, um, nakukuha natin sa mga testing facilities natin. Mm -hmm. Ay, tsaka yung HIV test kasi natin, it's it's confidential. And it yes. comes with a pre-test counseling and a yes. post-test counseling. Kinakounsel yung ating, uh, um, ating uh, kliyente mm -hmm. bago siya magpa-test at after niya magpa-test. Yes. And, you know, these people, they have the option to not write their real name, mm -hmm. to uh, not write their uh, yeah, real address. Yan ang problema natin. natin yun oh, kasi option, kasi, optional. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. optional. And, yung uh, pinaka-importante kasi is they get the test. Yes. So that they know their para status. Para may intervention tayo, just yes, in case. Yes, para okay. magamot ka agad. Okay. Ma mabalik ako sa pangatana. No? So, I, if I'm not mistaken, nag-increase this year. Tama ba? Okay. The purpose is that the balikan ko nga, uh, short uh, kanyang. The purpose is that the pagtukot it grupo ng mga text brigade, ah, text text brigade, <laughs> the uh, butterfly brigade, ano? Hay sa bilog ka, bukod kibat uh, fashion show or show re, or beauty contest inong karang uh, main nip or purpose ha? Hay raw awareness. Yes. No. So uh, sa ako nga pamatjaga, ano? Naging epektibo ayan erol ra tong grupo ng when it comes to awareness, because the increase in numbers is yes. affected. Eh. Well, if our activity is awareness raising, uh, there is no definite indicator. Eh. Mm. The indicator there is, kung marami bang naging aware, maraming nag, nag pupunta sa mga testing facilities natin to get their, to, to get tested, and yung um, that's why it's very important that we have these events, we have these people visible, no, and exposed to the public para pag-usapan. Mm -hmm. At kapag pinag-uusapan kasi doon, nagka-come out na, ay, okay, meron pa lang, meron pa lang test sa kalibo. Mm -hmm. So, si Inga Agto. I personally can attest kasi during my, my during, um, as advocates, sa social media may, nag, may nagtatanong, may nag-chat, sir, um, si Inga pwede magpa-test. So, ma glad ako na may mga makakarisip ako ng mga awareness messages. Because of the awareness level. Yes, kasi, um, um, tawagara, if they know kasi na meron pa lang ganito dito, so they can get the test. Okay. And but to respond to the question of uh, Robin, we can uh, answer the question in two uh, points. No? Pwede siyang effective because of the increase of reporting. Ibig sabihin, napukaw natin yung awareness level. Pwedeng tingnan sa ganong angulo. But pwede rin siyang tingnan sa angulo na ha, hindi ito effective kasi despite of all the efforts, eh bakit tumadami pa din? So di ba? Kaya nga, I'm, I, I agree with your statement a while ago that no specific indicator, pag ang tanong natin is success indicator of level of awareness, mahirap siya i-determine. Uh -huh. Can I adjust lang, sir, no, na ang pagdami ng kaso, we can take it positively. Yeah, Bakit? kaya nga. Mm. Kasi marami nang nagpapatest. Dati wala eh. Uh Oo, -oh, kaya dumadami yung kaso kasi madami nang nagpapatest. Uh Oo. -oh. Yes. Pwede ganun. Kaya two, two sides ang pagtingin. No? Just to respond to the concern of... Kasi yan din ang tanong ko palagi. Are, are we impacting? Uh, ang programa ba ay may epekto? Uh, ang, mga pa, ang mga pagod ba natin ay sulit ba? O parang nagpapagod lang tayo na walang tayong patutunguhan? Okay. Something like that. One thing more is that the question whether it's uh, effective or not. Mm -hmm. I don't think so nga effective ni Mao or not effective in Mao. Yes. Pero importante is may grupo ng mga tawo mm -hmm. nga nagatrabaho para sa rayang bagay. At may nagapates. O, kesa sa uwa, git. Yes. No? Kasi, the result kara sa bilog is, no yung mga taga, yung mga affected ng mga individuals, nag-a-addo tayo sa atong hub. It's because kita mismo, nagasinugid niya, hey, please come out, addo ka mo yan sa among nga, sa DRSDMH, may libre kitang buong, may mga makakakita niya. So, nabati ananda, Awareness ron eh. Mm -hmm. So, kaibahan kita kara sa pag, pagkangay kan daw, uh, ginahamara for me, do not spread the virus, but spread the good news.
Yes, pero reminder lang sa akin, no? yung warning signal ka kon ka result it survey it world vision. Yung last year lang. Na despite all the efforts, bakit ang result ng World Vision Survey ay eh, bumaba among K to 12 yung high school, no? So siguro ipapark natin yan na concern sa Brig uh, Butterfly Brigade. Tama yung mga tanong kanina ng mga media partners natin. Let's uh, revisit yung impact natin. Baka may presumption tayo na ang dami na kasing pro projects like this one, but baka hindi natin nakakaskade. And be strategic in partnering with other stakeholders like DepEd. Ang tanungin natin si DepEd, ito yung tanong ko sa DepEd din eh. May program ba sa curriculum talking about HIV and AIDS, about adolescent health, about sexuality? Meron pa ba or hindi na? I ask some of my students, hindi pareho ang sagot. No, I do a part-time job, no, teaching, and I, I am quite worried na iba ang sagot sa grupo ng ito, iba ang sagot sa grupo ng ito, pero same age level, so uh, there might be something wrong. And to add to that, sir, I think this is also one of the reasons why Butterfly Brigade hosts this um, competition or this pageant is to look for the next advocates of. Um, HIV awareness and prevention. So, mas maraming sumasali, mas maraming tumutulong in spreading um, uh, HIV awareness. Okay. Oh, sige. Leading na sana ako. Thank tutu. you very much, Mel. Na, ang ako nga ginasuggest it, siyempre, ambassadors of goodwill yung kamatanan. So, whoever wins, o ro intoras, o ano nga, kaibahan sa nagdaog, karay na, hey, kung pwede nga mag Hopping mm -hmm. sa kada school, unahon naton like kalibo, tapos matabog na naman siya, hasta di ka to, ag pamakaroon matay ng ita. Do yun, do sa bilog na effective, nga advokasya, mm -hmm. nga kita, gaadto kita sa kada eskwilahan, gahambay kita. Mm -hmm. Ag kasal kita ang karang, nga manami ilo pagbaton kara kanda sa kada eskwilahan, with proper coordination yang okay taro. Yes, and let's partner with Aklan Population Office. Oh. Errol, you know, naman sino mga tao dyan, no? Because they are implementing the Adolescent Health Program, di ba? At saka yung mga peer educators uh, organize. Uy, uh, good news. Ang Madalag is one of the outstanding youth uh, implement implementers of Adolescent Health Program. National. So, pupunta tayo ang Aklan, September 18 yata to, uh, to receive the award. National yan. So, I was invited by the Provincial Health Office because of the implementing. Madalag pa lang. I'm encouraging all LGUs dapat. So, ano ba sa Madalag? Are you aware about Madalag experience on adolescent health? Um, HIV I, AIDS? Yes, I think um, Madalag is one of those um, um, rural health units na um, adolescent friendly. Yes. Um, uh, I think the government now is trying to make um, all these health facilities to be adolescent friendly. Yeah. And, and, and one of that is, you know, setting adolescent corner, mga yes. ganon. And, and Madalag is AIDS. doing that. Along, I think along with um, New Washington, there are several of them eh. And etong Madalag is um, outstanding pagdating dyan. Yan ang dream ko sa Kalibo. Dapat ang Kalibo will position that uh, direction. Kasi dito yung mataas ang ano eh. So, let's hear from Kalibo next time. No? Mm. Sa madalag may problema kita ng mabaho kung nagabantay ka mo sa social media. Haman ko no it, what gasolinahan sa madalag? <laughs> Robin, uh, follow up question. <laughs> Abong Chinese ito. <laughs> oh, follow up question, Robin. Alright. Uh, oh, uh, Errol, no, samantala hong tanga may live coverage kita makaroon ni ta Aklan Cable, no? Ag sa wapang mga kasayo, dahi ibo makaroon rugada, no? Uh, paano makalikaw, o oh, I mean, paano nakakahawa right, ka ng HIV AIDS virus ag paano ka makalikaw? Ag may una, ag, similog pa, sa mga una, sa, sa, I'm sure nga may mga uh, biktima o makaroon na huya tagapon sa makaroon. Yes. Inuro siya sa makaroon, Errol. Mga carrier. Late kita mata si Robin. Dalam anak tayo ke pangutana, haham bagu tak kena. Okay. 
Ah, uh, remarks lang ito sa dali. Imposible naman 'yun. Hindi kita abstain, grabe man si Mami nga. Imposible naman. That's my human right kita also. Hindi ko abstain on permit. Ako nag-abstain ya tago sa mga buto-buto kan, pero sa imo ginahambang on, I never. Pwede. Okay. Pwede makaraido na. Sir boy. One minute uh, comment. No? Okay. Kasi what I'm observing uh, ang mode of transmission ang inyong gina ay concern about this but you did not discuss kasi ang ang HIV makakahawa ito contagious pero hindi naman to contagious enough through by contact there should be a biological activities yes pag wala naman itong biological activities wala eh kaya kaya ang problema ito eh because of uh, some uh, sama foreigners especially bakit yung mga teenage pregnancy natin yun ang delikado mm -hmm. because uh, may merong case dito in Calibo apat ah, tata eh. pero confidential ito ah. dahil Siyempre, dapat dahil uh, early uh, teenage pregnancy ito na ang kanyang uh, offspring yun nga may HIV mm -hmm. yun ang delikado that is your Uh, concern now, your advocacy now will enter. Mm. Kasi, sabi kasi nyo, you are going to school, school by school. School hopping, yes. Yun ang sex education and this should be discussed uh, professionally. So, yun ang concern ko because thank you for that and I congratulate you if you will, if you can do That's this true. for every school. Yes, we will support that because it's already in the programming of Aklan Population Office. We need you as part of the team, no? After the pageant, kailangan kayo. Pwede nila tayong itap. Iya kami, mga manong. Actually, we're doing it, kaya lang hindi natin ma-absorb lahat ng, ang lapad kasi ng Aklan. Hindi natin ma-saturate. Kaya nga, we need to partner with DepEd, we need to partner Popcom. with SK and uh, uh, Council, oh. yung mga HIV and AIDS oh. Council. Dapat i-activate yun. Actually, hara partner, uh, tip lang. Hindi ka makinangan mag-usay, mag mag-solicit in yes. pondo para Kasi para. Pondo ng... You partner with Franklin Kimpo, yes. our provincial pop, pop, Popcom. population Popcom. Mga peer educators. Diba? Alam mo na yan, meron tayo pare ko. And the Alam SK... Pangali, And the SK, kasi they have the funds. SK, ho. Kisa magpinabasketball, sa dahil na magpinabayli. Ang DILG, sabi sa akin ng DILG, part of their deliverables is on HIV and AIDS. Council, strengthening and advocacy. So, isistrengthen na lang. Kasi nandiyan na yung council, eh. Diba? And we can also partner with the municipal health officers of that municipality. Like what happened sa Madalag. Outstanding sila, national awardee, because of the intervention of the municipal health office. Alam mo yung AMOHOP, diba? Yan. That's good. So, okay. partner. Some more questions? Uh, what was that question? Ito yung mga beauties man. Ito yung mga pakiraya. At this point, i-introduce uh, natin bato-bato. Yes, bato. agpahambagon ka na isaya. Oh, kailangang makita saan na yung magrampa. Yes, yes. Ready and, na kayo, girls? And say something. Nakaritouch yun? Oh. Okay. Dapat ang... Ha? Ah, may... may uh, yes, may... May pangutahan na coming from the AB communication. Oh, please. Young people, speak up. Yan. Um, okay, so... Okay. Good morning po. Um, I am Rio Astronomo of AB Mass Communication. So, this would be not a question, but rather to tell you that we as a students are creating a kind of society that builds respect, awareness, and support sa mga campaigning nyo, sa mga activities ninyo and awareness sa mga issues all about the LGBTQ plus and some individuals that are all about the gender equality. So, if you think that, yes, of course, the activities and campaigns are so hard to implement. So, gusto naman nga, masayaran ninyo nga we students ay tinitignan kayo na mataas. Sinerespeto namin kayo. So, that's all. Yeah. So this is a civilized uh, community, kaya yung respeto is always there, oh, di ba? Yan lang naman ang indikator ng civilized And society, yung respect, respect is earned. Pag nawala yan, okay. nasa jungle ulit tayo. Yeah, oo. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pag nawala yung respeto sa, sa, sa oh, isa, nasa jungle ulit tayo. Above all, respect talaga yeah. sa kada isa. Okay. So ito na. Yep. Oh. 
Ang, ang sasabihin lang, uh, introduce yourself by telling us your name and your municipality. And, at ano ang nangyong obra, makaroon, galing yes, ka mo. At ano yung oh. profession ngayon? Oh, oh. O, ang pinagkakaabalahan ngayon? Yun lang siguro, no? Ako, obra, manakot in Panada, na I'm doing good in this business. Okay? Oh, oh. At ano yung advocacy na ginagawa? Oh. Oh, yun lang siguro para hindi tayo masyado mahaba. Okay. So, uh, let's have uh, Daniela Isabella Laurente Garcia. Okay. Magrampa siya papunta doon. Yes, so harap sa camera. Um, hello, good morning. I'm Daniela Lo um, Isabella Laurenti Garcia um, from the municipality of Numancia. So I am a freelance makeup artist and also a humanitarian worker as well. Wow. Um, my advocacy is, um, siguro um, as a humanitarian worker, I would like to impose also na um, magkaroon tayo ng um, community-based HIV and AIDS education, um, not only in the community proper, but um, especially in the remote area also. That would be okay. Yes. Thank you. Gusto ko yung community-based approach. Next, uh, we have Archie Sky. So my name is Archie Sky. Um, I am a student. So my advocacy is um, to, uh, as the, as part of the youth, uh, my advocacy is to educate not not only we the students but also the teachers and also for the teachers to, edu to educate uh, my fellow classmates and uh, age group. Thank you. From? From where are you? Numancia. From Numancia. Next we have Tony, Tony Alia Santa Maria Roldan. Uh, good morning, everyone. I am Tony Alia Santamaria Roldan. I am 29 years old and I am representing the municipality of Calibo. And I am a proud employee of Navarra Meat Shop and Food Products Incorporated. Wow. Productive ito. So, my advocacy is the acceptance because I believe if we accept, what, we accept us as, as who, I, who am I, I think the unconditional love yung unconditional love is papasok because acceptance I think acceptance is the best is the best way to gain respect and to gain the and to gain unconditional love thank you okay thank you next next candidate we have Shari Angela Ibarra okay Manong Edwin Good morning, everyone. My name is Shari Angela Ibarra. I'm proud and out to represent the municipality of Malinao. Um, currently, I am working as an, as an academic tutorial teacher in, academic, um, in a tutorial school here in Calibo. And my advocacy would be um, awareness towards mental health wow. because there are so many cases of suicidal depression and depression here in our province and it's something that I would like also to address to our government and um, in line with this is to also understand those um, teenagers who suffers yes from depression stress or pressure in their um, school in their in social media especially thank you Thank you, Angela. Next, we have Enzo Matores. Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Enzo Matores um, from the municipality of Calibo and currently working for the uh, provincial hospital as admin staff and also a freelance makeup artist 
And for me, my advocacy is I wanted to educate the young people, educate them uh, on the things that they need to avoid in order to prevent this disease. And the youth, because at this age, we explore things out of curiosity. That's all. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Enzo. Next, we have Maria Stephanie Lopez. So good morning everyone, my name is Maria Stephanie Lopez, 24 years old from the enchanting town of Balete and I am currently uh, teaching at uh, one of the universities here in Naklan. So my advocacy is uh, education through scholarship from Villarente ther thera uh, Therapeutic uh, School in which they will offer a uh, scholarship to those individuals who are uh, living with HIV even though if they want to pursue their lives even though they are live, uh, living in the darkest days of their life. They need to look for the endeavors for themselves, for the betterment of themselves as well, for the benefit of everyone in the society. Thank you. Thank you. Partner, dali lang. Dito, nasolve na yung problema mo. Baka siya yung may-ari na susi. Nadugaan ka, Tiabe. Ay, wa. Bakit? Bakit napasok yung susi? Hindi, okay, panawagan niyan kasi may nakita si Tito ang ayabi at motor sa guwa. Ah, okay. And next, we have Miss uh, Dalen Taborda. Hello, good, um, good morning everyone. My name is Dalen si Taborda and I am from Tangalan na clan. And also, I am a Sangguni Ang Kabataan chairperson. So my, so my advocacy is there to discover, which is this um, have a four or five session, which include the, the depression, the, uh, the gender sensi sensitivity, the HIV and H, and uh, the, the reproductive health. So we are going to conduct this in every barangay, which we include in the youth development session and um, with the partnership of the World Vision also, sir. So, um, gakanda kami at session every first Sunday to roll out this in every barangays of Tangalan. So, and, so I hope I cope up this um, in the whole province of Baklan. Wow, Thank you. Galing. I'm proud. Ka kay Sir I'm, Jay, ah. I'm proud to be a Tangalanon. Partner, pamasahe. <laughs> yeah. Asusunod na contestant, ako tatawag. <laughs> Sino? Miss Angel Diao <laughs> Custodio. <laughs> Ay, De, pating... Sa yung mga ta isa yung talent manager. Pating skitin oh. yan, eh. <laughs> and I'm proud not to say this, sa Tangalan, they conducted every year yung Youth Forum yeah. municipal-wide. And one of the issues being tackled is AIDS, HIV, and AIDS. No? So congratulations to Tangalan. I was there. I was invited as moderator lang, ha? but grab yung issues ng mga kabataan. Magaling din si Mayor Gary at Gary Vice Jean. Oh. Wala man akong ginapabugaw, but I'm just stating the facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They invited every department heads of That's the good. municipality, That's kasali good. na si MHO, mm -hmm. to address all the questions kahit ano pwedeng itanong ni kabataan. Oo. Oh, oh. At natakot ako sa no mga tanong. No holds barred. Wala. Okay, that's ang good. police, ang social welfare, mm -hmm. ang SK, federation, uh, lahat. So, banatan ng tanong. And even on health issues ng mga kabataan. Oh. Lumabas yung issue about HIV, adolescent uh, health, yung teenage pregnancy, smoking, alcohol. I think you have to do this in your municipalities. At yes. magandang oh. maging advocacy ito ng mga kagaya natin dito sa Butterfly Brigade. Oh. Okay, so finally, uh, partner Edwin. Parang punong-puno na tayo, ano? Tapos na ba? Tapos na. Ay! <laughs> Tapos na. May isa pa nakatayo. Yes. Mahaba Sino? buhok. <laughs> Mahaba lang yung ano niya. So, uh, to, to wrap up, kasi hindi natin sila tinanong sa kanilang mga ano, kasi sila yung magra-wrap up. Okay? Hindi. Uh, Pakilala sa datuman. Oh, mamay, oh, yes. Oh. Oh. So, tatayo din sila. <laughs> O para fair, oh, kasi kailangan makita yung vital statistics. Okay? <laughs> so that the people may know. Parang billboard yan. Ah. 
Okay, let's have uh, on the show um, Mel uh, Gracia Kimpo. Um, yes, I'm Mel Gracia Kimpo and I'm representing the municipality of Calibo. I'm a fashion designer and a makeup artist by career. Um, Saan yung shop mo? <laughs> it's in Martilino Street above M4 Plaza. Wow, my plugging. <laughs> Ah, okay. Yes, I'm also the co-chairman of the Aklan Fashion Designers Guild. Wow! No! <laughs> Thank you, Mel. Next, we have MJ. Good morning, everyone. I am MJ Lopez, and I am 25 years old. I am from the beautiful and bountiful town of New Washington. I am a public school teacher, and my advocacy is uh, called hashtag HIV and AIDS education to be free, accessible, and inclusive to all. Thank you. Next, we have Jeremy. Good morning, everyone. So, good morning, everyone. My name is Jeremy Esri Ontoy from the beautiful municipality of Banga. I'm 24 years old. I'm 24 years old and currently working as a freelance um, event styling and coordinator. My advocacy is to educate the, the three forms of media, which, which is the print, the, um, the film, and the radio media as the, uh, as the most accessible form of dissemination of HIV and AIDS facts and um, issues. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. So, partner Edwin, na, na, nahalata mo, very productive ang mga taong ito. You see, they are all diba? talented. Lahat may trabaho. Oo, oh, oh. kaya nga yung anak ko, ito, ito joke ha. Yung anak ko kasi is maliit, maunga ko natin yung hey, makita mo ito, nagpalantik ko talaga ng mga corn. Hindi po naman masabi yan. Hindi. <laughs> si Joseph, mami. So, one Inunahan time, ng tatay. <laughs> one time, nagkatrabaho ako, nagapit yung mga kakon. Joseph, nagapit yung mga kakon. Daddy. Sugod ka man man na mag age ako. Ha? As in may revelation na kagad oh, at, the na, of, at the age of at the age. Okay lang pag-usapan natin yan dito. Wala eh. akong problema ron. Ako ta nang arahay. Kun ano ta ay suportahan ta ka. Wala akong problema ka pa ubra kita parlor, maskin sa kilid ka sada yang na tapos ay bi na ila ud mo naga naga twinkle twinkle na nang mata mami. Ay sugod ta nako eh. Pero wala ba ko na ko nang ilat age nga tamat. Hi. Dindog imo buo mo silig. Nagpanilig imo sa ako ko print. <laughs> Ay, you see, haman ito yung bawagan doon nga. Naga, kung ano tala ng feelings, ag haro nagahambag tayo mao nga, agi tayo mao. Mm -hmm. Ay, imong bagbagon. Unlike sa ibang ato nga, ungat senador. Ungat senador, nangawa tayo mo ang nao nga, permit ang late mag-uli, ag brusko, taroon mahalin sa bagay. Ay, di perming late mauli, eh. hindi mm -hmm. sa nagawa, sa nagkakita eh. One time, binantayan na kita, bay, nauli, taroon nga ay naka-heels. So, binuo na narangis, ang makamakaan na mo ito sa may swimming pool, oh. Ay, yun na si Daddy na. Ay, Jose! Sige, magalin! Ay, Daddy! Wala na. Sa barkada, ay, di. Ano kita man ang ginahambay kimo? Kabuhay ka na ako na pangutan ako. Ano ka? Agi ka, Bukon! Bukon. Agi ka, Bukon! Ba, ay, naungkot ito. Taro tatay, purilod na ako nga, ay. Pagsipa na na nahugog sa swimming pool. Ro, ano, ro, ro, high heels? Ro, agi. Ay, makaroon man na, agi ka po kong sirena, daddy sirena. Ay, ito na tayo mo sa swimming pool. Ay, at least nag-amin. So, hindi natin dapat itago, ra. Ag kita nga parents, hindi kita maugot nga makaroon na itong unga. Yes. Diba? Acceptance. Kung gusto ni mo, ay, kung wag ito ikaw na ila, ay, pagpakitaan niya na akig ka, i-guide mo. Yung mga estudyohan, may child psychology man kita ay. Kasahid man kita ka, so, ako niya tana is, bukon tayo it, buisit o balas sa panimagayag sa pamilya kung may unga ka nga agi o tomboy. Diba? Yes. In, okay. Before we wrap up. Yeah. Mag-wrap up na tayo. So, uh, summary. Actually, Diana, uh, para encouragement ng kinyo, sa, sa, sa England, may akon nga namit nga pamili, seven boys. Out of that seven boys, may isang ganon. Yun nga ginapaanto natin iya. Hey, kagwapot, abe. Hey, pero pamilya ta, gin-accept kita yung mao. Suportado ta. So nga ni Ihay, doon makutaratan. Kita, abe, kung namat, hay medyo maliit ang ating pinayoy, no? Okay. Thank you for that uh, comment, no, Ma'am Chita. So, uh, as we wrap up, uh, gusto ko yung uh, balik-balikan yung statement ni Miss Jeremy Kaina, no? Uh, parang dato nakastruck ka ako na mm -hmm. after all the discussions that in a civilized world, 
Ang importante lang naman sa atin is yung purpose in life. Regardless of your orientation, regardless of your status in life, regardless of your position, mm. ano bang importante sa tao? Ang purpose mo. Yung inamba mo kayo ng the purpose-driven driven life. life. Yeah. Oh, diba? So, dyan nag-umpisa ang respeto. If you respect yourself because of your main purpose, uh -oh. everybody will respect you. But, yes. pag ang sarili mo mismo ang binaliwala mo, ang kinalimutan mo, at ang dininay mo, so, sino pang mag-respeto sa'yo? The self-esteem, the self-respect, Yes. Comes within you. Yeah. Ang ang request ko lang sa community is uh, magpakatuto at maging tao lang. Mm. <laughs> talagang tao. Eh. Meaning, mm. as a human person, we have to be rational all the time. Yes. Every action must have reason. Mm -hmm. Diba? Mm -hmm. Huwag kita na ilang ginabasos kita sa community because mm. kung kisa, ro atong ginaubra, huwag matrason. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh, oh. In, uh, 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 ano, unreasonable. Mm. Uh, always remember that you are unique. Lahat naman tayo unique. Yes. O, diba? O, partner Edwin. Dahil pag unique ka, kahit sino ka man, talagang sa shine ka. If you, diba? You are a social being. We need each other. Kaya we partner. Hindi pwedeng dahil L taga LGBTQ++++, eh kayo-kayo lang. The government needs you also. Because we need to partner, we need you on the ground. Especially in cascading all the programs. No? And the, uh, lastly, uh, don't forget spirituality. Kasi akala nila yung mga LGBTQ wala ng spiritual aspect in life kasi sabi nila ito yung mga makamundong mga tao na nabubuhay <laughs> sa kamunduhan. But as a human person, we need the guidance. And marami akong kilala na mga ka-sector no, na very religious din. Because that will uh, guide you to know what is right and what is wrong regardless of your sexual orientation. And the last is, as a human person like you guys, don't forget that you are... We, we must not forget that this, we are sexual being. Yeah. We need... Wow. Kaya nga nag-react ako doon sa... <laughs> so sinasabi ni ma'am na wala na siya sex life. Hindi ko talaga kaya. It's a human right, okay? Kaya nga, while we recognize sexuality is one of the characteristics of a human person, be responsible in our sexuality. Yes, Kaya dito yes, pumapasok yung ating mga advocacies. Be responsible in our sexuality. Kasi yan ang sisira sa ating pag hindi natin na disiplina yan. So, yes, uh, may pahabol, pahabol. Sir Edwin, pahabol daw. Will you allow that? Wala, <laughs> wala. Uh, na, na, nalipatan ko kayo na na pag-ambag eh. Ito eh. Uh, ang gender ngayon, madugangan eh. Instead of two, male and female, mayroon LGBT na ang gender. No? <laughs> What I mean here is that since uh, we are not in millennial uh, uh, season, uh, ano, anong ginagawa ngayon sa, educational, sa education culture? sa nursery and kindergarten. Because uh, I have seen in the television na binubuli yung mamaliit with that inkling to, yes. the, to become an LGBT. Yes. So, ano nga yung ginagawa ng education? Sa yeah. uh, DepEd or whatever? Mayroon bang I think, is there, oh, ano? I Nakalimutan think ka lang ito eh. Good question. It's... Totoo yun. Yan ang, yan ang kailangan. Yeah. I think it's a valid question. Uh, at the early age, may nabatian ako sa crafting of the manual on uh, early childhood development. Ito yung concern ng DSWD. Yung nag-reproduce ito ato nga mga materials. Teaching, uh, uh, parang alam yata ito ni Sir. Sa early childhood, daycare at saka going to kinder, ele elementary, very sensitive yung mga modules natin on gender issues, di ba? Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea about that? Yung... Ano bang ginagamit natin ng mga modules in teaching young children at early age, ha? from early childhood? Kasi may early childhood development program tayo sa gobyerno from uh, daycare to kinder to DepEd uh, levels. Ano mga approaches? Yeah, may mga approaches tayo. Uh, okay. Yung concern kanina na may tendency na ibubuli ang isang very young uh, child dahil may tendency, may leaning siya sa pagiging uh, homosexual, uh, lesbian yun. Ako ay, bago si sir, ako tanay, ginahambayan ko ako nga, na pag may nagbully sa sa school, sabihan mo ako, or sabi ka kay, kay teacher, yeah. pero hindi ka makong pagbulihon 
kung nagapormal ka. Yes. So from sa bagay pagat ay ibrief at anato sanda. Oriented na sa. Bago sa gawa. Yes. Yeah, I think that's a good management. Yeah. Yes. As part of the Department of Education, we have this uh, so-called um, bully-free zone. So our school should be a bully-free zone. So we not just um, tolerate bullying inside the classroom because in the sense, so bullying is a um, problem that affects a child psychologically mm -hmm. and emotionally instead. So as a teacher, so sa Dep Ed Sir, so gina um, empower gita our teachers nga dapat gaygayan gita our students yes. one by one hambagan sanda nga this is a bully free zone so yes. we should um, not to create a a, a ref, uh, what they call this feud be between each other but we should love and accept one another correct agsampato sa natantaan ko ron discussion during the interagency uh, discussions with DepEd one identified problem is the, the presence of the licensed guidance counselor in yeah. every school. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yan daw ang gap ngayon natin, partner Edwin. Isang issue din yan. Kasi walang, ap, walang qualified na mga guidance yes, counselors. Sir. in. We are lacking of guidance counselor in the school. Yes. Yes. In my license, school. Dapat, my license. license. Oh. Hindi lang license. Dapat meron ka pang masteral something oh. studies. Oh. At kukuha ka pa uli ng another exam to be considered as uh, guidance counselor. Mahirap nga. Mahirap nga. <laughs> no? Like for our school, sir, in our school setup, yung nagiging guidance counselor na lang po namin is either yung AP coordinator hmm. or else we have this English professor or teacher yes. na capable uh -huh. of guiding the children or our students. Yes. So their behavior. Sa, I remember, no, isa sa mga recommendations na gina, uh, binigay namin is to for the province to conduct regular trainings, no? updating, scaling up training, oh. for teachers na nag as oh. guidance counselor. Yes, sir. While we are uh, waiting for the applicants, Again, yung mga licensed guidance counselors. This problem is in existence before pa. Doon ginahambay ni sir nga, anong major, ay English major teacher, anong ano. Nagkakatabo ron, nga kugang ron mga maestro ag maestra. Like, kugang sandait, Math teacher, hay bukon tat major in math rogi na paturo it math. Wa math me PE major nga dapat ay PE major ta ro nagaturo it PE. Hay si ano man nga toy medyo athletic ay imo lang ro PE teacher. So it's not good. Okay sir, in behalf of that cause or concern, so we teachers are versatile. Yun po sabi nila. So we can teach anything or any subject as long as kaya po namin. So, actually, my load is about AP subject and ESP. So, mm -hmm. it's more on values formation, values formation. of uh, students. Commonly, I am teaching the core values of humanity, yung makatao, makajos, makakalikasan, makabansa. Yes. So, I am, um, we are honing our child or our children. Character formation. Yes. To become a morally upright individuals. Yes. Okay. Pero, ipapark natin yung concern ni Sir Boy kasi oh. lumabas din yan na concern sa mga discussions. Like, it must influence uh, the, the modules, especially sa early childhood development, uh -oh. yung management ng, ng teachers. No? At we're happy that we have the Bullying Act, no? the anti-bullying anti -bullying, law. Yeah. Oh. Kasi pwede siyang response din doon sa concern on bullying in school and mm -hmm. even outside the school. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that concern. So to wrap up. Like in the province, mm -hmm. we lack of Registered social workers. Yes. Mga makaroon ba yung bagay? And, psycho, and psycho, what psychiatrist. What is the government doing about that? Mm -hmm. Sasabihin nila, may funds tayo dyan eh. May MOE, may para sa ano-ano. Dapat ay ipagawa yun doon kung sino ka apply nga qualified. Mm -hmm. Bukon niya, dato atong buo na yung nga ni Kwan. Dato si Kwan na yung nga ni Kwan. Mm -hmm. Wala na yan kasi kulang talaga ang applicants. Kabo-abot ang graduate makaroon ng SPJ. Pero hindi license social siguro. Work. Oh, kasi kakalabas lang Hindi ng... Hindi license, oo. Oh. Pero may ina nga mga lisensyado, nga awa tariya nag-a-apply, it's because... Okay? We are... No, hindi na ngayon. Hindi na ngayon kasi... Oh, we, have okay na. Uh, we have our human resource uh, competency-based yeah. na ngayon. In the uh, last meeting with the people from the province, siguro mga two months ago, mm -hmm. nag-ahambay mismo, hey, what, 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 what,
mismo opisina nga nagkakita nga dito yung klase nga. Okay. So we will look expert. into that, no? Oh. So mga dynamics na yan sa ano, mga dynamics na yan sa human resource. But uh, 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 to wrap up, no? Kasi wala na tayong time is uh, 11:20. Tinapos mo na kasi nandito na si Ma'am Angel. Oo nga eh. Oo. So uh, to end this show, no, uh, siguro buo lang naman, uh, especially kay, uh, from Mr. Errol, no? uh, what is your final message now to aton nga mga manog pagamantaw, no? coming from the Butter Butterfly Brigade and uh, uh, organizer, as the organizer of the Queen of a Clan? Yes, yeah, so I'm, a, I'm inviting everybody to please support and watch Queen of a Clan. It's going to be uh, uh, on the November 30th of this mm -hmm. year at the ABL Sports and Cultural Complex. So it's, it's 7 p.m. Uh -huh. and... Um, May bayad ba ito or for free or what? Yes, there, are, um, there will be door tickets and we'll ticket. release it soon. Uh -huh. So may mga tickets. For how much? Um, we have general admission, 100 pesos. 100, no? And the proceeds will go to? The proceeds of the event will also go to the um, operational expenses of the pageant. Mm -hmm. the, 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 um, the, the costs and also the uh, prices of the winners. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, pwede ba mag-suggest na while waiting for the pageant to start, dapat mag-video showing tayo ng mga advocacy materials natin about yung modes of transi uh, tran transmission, yung mga, uh, mga information about. Yes, no? we're doing it. Um, if you come to the pageant, uh, we, we, we are showing mga uh, educational yes. videos. Oh, kasi captured, may, oh, oh, may, may crowd ito oh, eh. While waiting, para yes. walang lal. Yes, walang lal. And uh, yung awareness level campaign natin mm. talagang sagad, isagad na natin kasi sayang din, no? While we will be entertained by the beauties, mm. uh, entertainment plus advocacy pa rin, tuloy-tuloy tayo. So, thank you. So, we wish you all the best, no? And, uh, uh, ye yes, and uh, yung mga ladies natin, uh, we wish you all the... Uh -oh, mamaya, no? So, thank you. Uh, sige, final words from uh, Mel, MJ, and Je uh, Jeremy. Yes, I would like to reiterate again what Sir Errol said. We're inviting everyone to watch the Queen of Aklan pageant on November 30 at the ABL Sports Complex. I would love to invite all of you to watch the glitz and glam of this year's pageant, the Queen of Aklan 2019, that will be on November 30, this year's 2019. Also, we will be going to have our talent night at Malay Covered Court, which is which will be on November 23, oh, 2019. Night. Separate pala yung talent night para dire na sa, sa pageant mismo. Sa saan yung gagawin ang talent night? <laughs> Malay Covered Court. Ah, Malay. At 7 p.m. Free to free. Yes. Kailan yan sa Malay? November 23, ah, 2019. And also, we will... Ang we'll, layo naman ng Malay, no? Bakit malay? Um, kasi the, uh, malayo nga. Malayo. malayo. Kasi the, um, <laughs> the reigning queen, the, the reigning queen of a clan ah, is from okay. Malay, and um, they will be having an AIDS congress, ah, and okay. as part of the congress will be the talent competition. Yes, strategic din siya. With ano dito with the uh, entrance fee or wala? I think it's free for everyone. Ah, free. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So partner, so this is a very productive uh, discussion uh, on HIV and AIDS and we would like to thank Sagamat Kids Aton nga Butterfly Brigade. Thank you also to the Provincial Health Office no, for supporting this event. And uh, padayon na aton nga pagkangay, uh, especially sa aton nga mga barangay, municipal HIV and AIDS council na i-activate na. No? And through your help, pwedeng mapuka wala sanda with our SK uh, officials all over the province of Aklan. Mm. Uh, they must embrace no, the program on HIV and AIDS para hindi na tayo dumami sa ating mga virus uh, uh, contamination. Let's do away with, with pabayli and basketball. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay. so thank you. Uh, sa uman, salamat kit sa inyo nga pag-iba ka kamo no, sa atong nga sabaduhan nga pag-iliba iya sa kapihan sa aklan. This is your board member JP Hada saying thank you sa uh, support at ato mga televiewers. Partner. Edwin Ramos, Philippine Information Agency, ang ato mga kaibahan sa media, Angel, uh, Northwestern Visayan Colleges, Mass Communications Department, Aklan Cable TV, Sir Angelito Kimpo, and uh, Garcia family, thank you very much. I hope uh, na ato nga mga viewers nag-enjoy. Huwag kita nag-Facebook Live, makaron Lobat, si Manong Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> Lobat, si Maninoy. Na Lobat, and... 
Meron ba? Pero meron, may live okay. naman tayo, di ba? And uh, I hope, uh, like si Mel, nagkambay mo nga first time na na, and Mel, uh, we hope that this will not be uh, the first and the last na maging kaibahan ka naman sa Kapian. If you have shows, if you have uh, something to advertise, just tell us, ya kami para magsuporta yes. kimo. So once again? Once again, Kapian sa Aklan with Manong Edwin and SPJ with the Queen of Aklan! Thank you! Thank you, NBC. Thank you, NBC community.